by everything. Mm. Scripture this morning will be coming from 1 Corinthians 13 chapter. Anybody know about that? Yeah. The way of love. Amen? Yeah. In, in this month is a love month too. As well as African American uh, month. Amen. for just being our everything. Thank you, Father, for being you all by yourself. We thank you, Lord, for last night's slumber and sleep. Early morning rise. That angel, Lord, that touched us with the feel of love. It wasn't an alarm clock. It was you, Lord. Eyes open. Blood running warm in our, in our veins. Tongue not sealed to the top of our mouth. Hearse wheels not running down our front door. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. You was able to get up clothes on the back, food on the table. Rain, Lord, have a warm place to be. Some of us don't have that right now, Jesus, but we know you are the one. 
just call on you. You are concealed by the sword. We ask you, Father, right now to conceal by us. Come into this church, Lord. Do as you will. Touch. Bodies, hearts, minds, souls. Touch someone, Lord, they might run under the aisle and say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Lord, what must I do to put you inside of me? Because Father, we know when you get inside of it, it's just like fire. Jeremiah says, fire is shit up in the bones. Right now, Lord, there's fire in our bones. We want you, Lord, just conceal us. Please do, Lord. Then, Father, we ask you to just touch our man, sir. Get him off the cane that he might be as he once was. We know you can do it, Lord. Father, you said that if we just ask in your name, it shall be good. Then, Father, we ask you to just bless our, our uh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Mm, Lord, I thank you. Just, just, just bless our, our family, our church family, that we might come to do as you will, love. Because that's all it's about, Lord. It's love you want to know. Then, Father, we ask you to bless our Poor tears. Lord, she's she's standing right behind her pastor, our pastor. Lord, and I thank you for her. Right now, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Then, Father, bless our sick. I share you. The one that doesn't know you by the point of their sins, Lord, we ask you to just bless them also. The one that's torn, that's leaning. We ask you, Father, just prop up, Lord, like you know you can. Father, when it's all said and done, we can't say no more. We ask you, Father, for a home in our glory, in our place. Do these things, Father, we be so careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. These blessings, and all blessings, we bless in our son Jesus' name. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
remind the scripture that the Lord has said that the pool would have with the songs. And we make preparations. Amen. Oh, you can keep on smiling. Giving is worship too. Amen. Church. The St. Men's Fellowship meeting will be held the third Saturday of each 
each month at 9 a.m. Please be present for matters of importance. Chairman, Chairman Alan R. Taylor. The Tech Center, LLC, join our best team. Requirements, a desktop computer, USB, USB headset, quiet work, workplace, and a wired internet connection. Apply now. The old position is a customer service rep. If you're interested in joining our company, call or email patiently waiting wdc at gmail.com or call 213-495-8312. The text center. Uh, the Generation of Choir will have practice on this Thursday, February 16th at 7 o'clock p.m. Thank you, Valerie. And don't forget the Redemption Deliverance Ministries Incorporated presents Pastor Rashad Cobb, our host, Red and White Gala. The theme, What's Love Got to Do With It? Friday, February 17th at 7 o'clock p.m. For the minister, Shalita Davis, our young ministry, Mount Olive, North Carolina, evangelist Jessica Williams, White Oak Church, Wilson, North Carolina, Dr. Elizabeth Clark, St. Luke Crew Baptist Church, LaGrange, North Carolina, right. and Ella Tina Murdoch, Faith Deliverance, Holy Church, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Amen. The Rima Word Christian Center Fellowship Annex, 704 North <coughs> East Street, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. A $15, $15 donation and please RSVP, RSVP by February 12th, which will be today, with Pastor Cobb and a cash out your donation to. Dollar sign J R R A S H A D O O. Excuse me. Dollar sign J R A S H A D. Cobb. C O B B. And since this is the month of <laughs> of love yes. for lovers and yes. all that good stuff, yes. I have a small prayer. All right. God bless you. I pray that happiness be at your door. May it not early, stay late, and leave the gift of God's peace, love, and joy. And good health and behind. And good health behind. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Happy in advance Valentine's Day. <laughs> and don't forget our sick each other. Bishop, if I may, just want to reiterate about the gala. Today is our last day to RSVP. If you have the money today, you can turn it in today. If not, you can pay at the door. Okay, I want you to know that you can pay at the door, but we need the head count today. Amen? So please see me immediately following service if you have not already RSVP. Thank you. I do give God the praise and glory, and, and it's just good to be here in the name of the Lord. Would you just look at someone and nod? Just let them know I'm glad that I see you today. Praise the Lord. It's best to be seen than viewed at any time. Amen. And certainly God is worthy of the praise to Dr. Clark, who's done a fabulous job in leading us in this worship experience, to, to Mother Seawood doing that wonderful affirmation of faith, our scripture, and then the soul stirring prayer from Deacon White. Amen. And how about the senior choir? Amen. St. Luke for your Baptist Church. Amen. Uh, the musician, Elder Carl, drum major, Brother David, and also, how about our guitarist? Man, he was putting the notes there, wasn't he? Hitting that note, he was hitting that note. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And to our urchers and greeters, to all of our officers and members, I count it all joy to be with you. Now, I'm going to share something with you. Amen. I've never shared with St. Luke before in my life. Praise God. I am 70 years old. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I've never been that far before. <laughs> I thought y'all need to know that. Praise the Lord. But I'm glad. Amen. The 
Lord kept me. Amen. Another year. Praise the Lord. I want to thank this church in Great Mount Zion for your love on last night. It was a wonderful experience and I'm still happy. I'm still elated. Thank you for your gifts and those of you, your, 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 your prayers and well wishes, all of that. Thank you, ma'am and sir. Amen. Uh, this morning, as you know, this is Sports Sunday. And uh, everybody stand up because everybody pretty much wearing something that, amen, reminds you of your team one way or the other. Amen. Because we got a sea full of karate. Amen. Amen. Good gracious. Mother, see what are you? to uh, add to that uh, list or display. See Mother Clark 
amen, and others, and I think it's a great uh, demonstration, amen, and a reminder to all of us, the Lord had brought us from a mighty long way, amen, we, we ain't out in the woods now, but we can see the road, praise God, amen, we thank the Lord, and also this morning, I, I do want to say starting next Sunday and the fourth Sunday, wear your African uh, attire for those of you that can and will uh, as it also a reminder to what month it is and encourage your children to come to church because uh, this month reminds us of a legacy of our heritage. Amen. Because a lot of our young people don't understand what our full parents really went through to get us to this point. And what I'm saying in that our foreparents were bought here as slaves, free labor, huh? Amen. To make someone else wealthy, somebody else rich. But in return, amen, the Lord, amen, turned things around. Instead of us being at the bottom, he's now had put us at the top. Amen. And a lot of history has never been brought forth and as we do know, there are forces out in this present world who don't want the truth to be told anymore. So it's up to us to remind our younger people of our legacy. And another thing, don't mess up a good thing. Amen. We used to couldn't buy stuff. Am I right? We used to couldn't own houses. Amen. Have these positional jobs. We got them. So let's Put some integrity there. Amen. And, and do a good job. Amen. And, and treat one another right. Amen. Am I right about that? Amen. Amen. We need to stop this killing. Can I be bold and just say it? Amen. We need to stop killing one another. Right. Amen. Too much of that is going on. Yes, now, we don't want to repeat the past. That's where we've come from. Am I right? So let's love and live and let live. Amen. That we can all have a bright tomorrow. Lastly, uh, I just want to say to all of you, thank you for your love. Celebrating me and my 70th birthday, St. Louis. It is a milestone. I remember President Abraham Lincoln. He said this. In life, it's not the time in the years, but it's the life that was put in the years. So I tried to live and, and, and show hope and to encourage and let people know we all are special and we all belong to God. You need me and I need you for we all God's property. May the Lord bless you in heaven smile upon you. It's time for tithes and offerings. We're going to ask our students to come. And let's put our hands together as we prepare in worshiping, giving God his tithes and offerings. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.
and, and Father Larry said polygamy would have been much more popular than just one woman and one man living together. And yet some of them seem to be attracted to the Christian faith. But, but obviously the church thought that marriage was very sacred between one man and one woman for their life. For your life. And that was to be encouraged. The idea of encouraging them to marry within the Christian church was what Valentine was all about. And he secretly married people. Valentine was eventually caught in prison, tortured for performing these ceremonies by Claudius the Emperor. There were legends surrounding him though. One of the things that they were saying was men, uh, one of the men who was to judge him in line with the Roman law at the time was a man called Asterisk whose daughter was blind. He was supposed to have prayed with and healed the young girl with such astonishing effect that Asterisk himself became a Christian. Isn't that all right? So in the year 269 AD, Valentine was sentenced to three-part execution of a beating, stoning, and finally decapitation for standing for Christian marriage. Isn't that awful? The story goes that the last words he wrote in a note to this daughter of the girl that he had uh, healed through Jesus. He inspired today's romantic missus by signing from your Valentine. What Valentine means to me as a priest this way so there is that there comes a time when you have to lay your life upon the line for what you believe. Anybody know about that? And with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do that even to the point of death. His invite Whitefriars Street Church is one of the three churches that claim to house the remains of Valentine. Valentine has come to be known as a patron of the saint of lovers. Before you enter into a Christian's marriage, you want some sense of God in your life. Isn't that all right? Some great need of God in your life. And we know, particularly in the modern world, many people are meeting God through his son, Jesus Christ. So if Valentine were here today, he would say to Mary Coates that there comes a time when you're going to have to suffer. You're going to hear that. If it's not going to be easy to maintain your commitment and your vows in marriage, don't be surprised if the gushing love that you have for someone changes to something less gushing, but maybe much more mature. And the question is, is that young person ready for it? So on the day of marriage, they have to take that into context. Father or daughter say, love, human love and sexuality is wonderful and blessed by God, but also the shadow of the cross. Isn't that beautiful? That's what Valentine means to me. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Three part, the whole God and the man and the woman in the triangle. Isn't that all right? In covenant and marriage. That's why you should not enter in it. Amen. Let us stand. We'll pray for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you first of all for this time, this hour, for your love, your kindness, for your visitation here this morning. God, we come now with our tithes and our offering. We are asking that you would bless them, that you would give them the increase, that they be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. For it is in Jesus' name we pray.
got the glory. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to talk here about blood. If you don't believe me, wait till this cloud move over and see what color the sky. For those naysayers, wait for the sky. I ain't getting no voice. I ain't, ain't getting no voice. I ain't thought I was going to get. You just watch for the sky. It's going to show you. Amen. <laughs> Somebody asked the question years ago. Amen. Is God a uh, Tahil? Um, <laughs> and it got answered. Watch the sky. I better preach. I better preach. I already got some Duke folk. You watch the sky too. The only time it turned that color, there's a storm. I better, boy, I better do something now. To those of you on Facebook, we thank God for you and your support. Thank you for cash app donations and tithes and your support, your amens, amen, and your prayers, amen. From the love book, 1 Corinthians 13. Verses 4 through 8, I will read. And those that have it, would you stand for the reading of the word of God and pray for us, and I shall not stay you long. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 uh, through 8 is the reading. And the Bible reads, now there are Praise God. And, and, and the, the 13th chapter, the fourth verse, and it says, Charity suffers what? Uh huh. And it is what? Charity envious not. Chariot vaunted not itself. And charity is what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Does not behave itself unseemly. Uh huh. Seek it is not her own. It is not easily, easily what? Uh huh. Made mad. That's what it means. Made mad. You know, some folk, they call it uh, quick tempered. No, <laughs> you just mean. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you because you, you, you can't be quick tempered and mean. At the same time, you one or the other. And you just me. That's all it is. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And and then the next verse says what? Mm -hmm. Thinking no evil. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then it said, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in what? Uh bearing all things. What else? Mm -hmm. Hope in all things. What else? Mm -hmm. And then charity never, never faith. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Bless God in the reading of his word. Eternal God, our Father, we thank thee for this hour you've ordained. I ask you now to hide Job behind the cross. For it's about thee and not me. Send a word to edify, strengthen, convict, and then to encourage. So at the end of the day, may we all be drawn closer unto thee. For let the words of my mouth and meditation of our hearts. Be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, our strength and redeemer. In Jesus' name, the church says, Amen. amen. For you sit down, I want to preach from the subject <clears throat> Love is the difference. Look at someone and say, Love is the difference. Tell that other neighbor, Love is the difference. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Pray for us and we shall not try to stay you long. Amen. Uh, love is a difference between thought and action. Love is a difference between good 
and evil. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have listened to kids, I even listened to my own growing up, Deacon Coons, and I, kids can say some funny things, but they got, sometimes have a good point, Mother uh, White Tomb. Amen. And um, I once heard that uh, one some kids were talking and they said, when my grandmama got off arthritis, she can't bend over and paint her toenails anymore. My grandfather does it for her until his arthritis start acting up too. Now I heard the children talking. Uh, when someone loves you, the way they say your name is different. Did y'all hear? I want to say that again. When, when, when somebody loves someone like they say they love them, they're going to say their name different. Like the name could be Mary. And if you're Mary, I, I'm not really talking about you, but if it's true, then take it. Amen. Now, you know, your, your, your love could just say, Hey, Mary, Mary. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone, bless you. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. Love is when someone hurt you and you don't, don't get mad. I didn't get much more. But you don't yell at them because you know it would hurt their feelings. You know that's love. Am I? Love is when <laughs> my mama makes coffee for my daddy and she takes a sip before he she gives it to him to make sure it's sweet enough. That night, I'll take that. <laughs> Love is what's in the room with you at Christmas and all the gifts have been opened. I mean, okay, I move on. <laughs> Love is like a little <laughs> laugh. It's not long, but it's enough. See, love is the difference in your life. With love, you can always make a difference. <laughs> love is the difference between a friend and an acquaintance. Love is the difference between a thought and an action. You know, that's a big difference because a lot of church folk got that kind of love. They love you today because you cooked them a cake. <laughs> but because tomorrow come and you didn't give them nothing at all, that's a problem. Are y'all with me here? Love is the difference between, hey man, doing right and doing wrong because love will go the distance mm -hmm. look because God is love the most important lesson he wants us to learn on earth is really how to love it is in loving amen we become more like him and I'm glad God ain't like us I'm going to say it another way. I'm glad God ain't like me. Can I get a witness? He'll be with you until you mess up. Then when you mess up, praise God, you're going to find yourself all by yourself. Am I right or not? Amen, amen, amen. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than itself. Love doesn't want but it don't have. And love doesn't hurt. I'm talking about real love. 
Love doesn't force itself on others. And love <laughs> doesn't fly off the handle. I'm glad that the Lord, when he fix you up, show sure enough, don't he fix that old tongue? Amen. Anybody know about it? He'll fix your tongue. Amen. Because of ordinarily, before I really got sanctified, amen, amen, I could say some things that my mama said, boy, you better, you better not say that or I'm going to wash your mouth out with some soap. Lord help us. Amen. And 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 when we become more acquainted with Christ, Amen. We find ourselves drawing closer to God with love. There's a lot of lot of songs, Dick and White, that I grew up. Amen. The, 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 the Beatles had a song that said, All you need is love. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, uh, Whitney Houston, y'all, y'all heard us say, said the greatest love of all. Am I right? Am I right? But then uh, Tina Turner uh, 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 broke out with a number one song and said, it don't matter what kind it is, what love got to do with it. I ain't getting divorced. I know you know it. So you might have it on your CD now. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Because there's words that uh, uh, Tina said, Deacon, that I sometimes think about, and, and it makes good sense. Deacon comes and do look. She said, what love uh, uh, is it but a second hand emotion? What's love got to do <laughs> with it? For who needs a heart? Look, it can go. Uh, when a heart can be broken. Praise God. I, I don't need your love if you want to keep hurting me and disrespecting me. What love got to do here? Can I get a witness? I, I, I know some of you know words. And, 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 and then, I, 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 ain't, I ain't trying to advertise, but look, she says in her latter course, and what, what seems like true love has broken a lot of hearts, but the love of God <laughs> it will never fail. Yeah. Won't it do? Yeah. Amen. Uh, Paul, who uh, writes this particular letter to the church at Corinth, is concerned about their love relationship. And let me help you, men. Uh, when you're having a relationship with a woman, and you say, honey, I love you. You better be ready to back it up. <laughs> I ain't getting no voice, baby. I'm on your side now. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Amen. 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 You, you, you better be ready. Uh, in the end, they said you better bring it. You better bring it. <laughs> my, I, I love you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you better learn how to be on time. Can I get a witness? You better bring something more than just flowers and some chocolate candy. Can I get a witness? Amen. See, see, love is the difference. Love changes the ir irritable person into a gracious person. It will change sour folk into sweet people. The love of God can change you inside out. And if people keep watching you, they're going to know for assurance you have changed. Am I right about that? Yes, yes, yes. Paul says that uh, when he writes this letter, he, 
is reminding the church that in God we all have some maturing to do. God just don't, amen, let you be born and abandon you, but he matures you through a process. How many of you glad you're still in the process of maturity? Day by day, God is taking out some old and putting in some new. Can I get a witness? Because for us to get the a God paid kind of love, that's the top level of love. That's the love that we all want. That's the love we all need. Uh, that love that is not proud. That love that's not rude. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. A God that is not self seeking, it is not selfish. There are too many people who will be your friend as long as you give them and doing something for them. But the time you're not able to produce, they'll leave you alone. Am I right about it? But I want to love. I want to love that will love me for who I am. I wish I had some more. See, love, 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 love. Love is not easily angered. I thank God for long suffering. And another thing I love about this thing, why I look, love, the agape love of God, keep no record of my wrongs. There are too many people holding you hostage to your past. All they can remember is when you did that. I wish I had about three folk that could go with me on this. All they know about what you did what you used to do bad or why you messed up but they can't see you for who you are in your future amazing grace how sweet the sound the Savior are rich like me I once was lost I got a few folks on that but now I'm fine come on Jesus is a deliverer what did he pick you up? Turn you around. What did he do it? And put you on the right road. Tell him thank you. See, 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 love, keep no record of wrongs. This is an accounting term, and it means that we must not add up or itemize the failure of others. We are to love one another as Christ. And love you. You ought to give him a praise. Thank you. When, he, when everybody else saw the works in you, Jesus from heaven looked at you in your future and not your past. I wish I had a few folk that want to sing to praise him for what you are in your present and what you're headed in your future. Say yes. Yeah. Love is the difference. Hmm. Love does not delight itself in evil. Paul is saying that love doesn't focus on bad things that may happen along the way. Paul uh, moves to five positive aspects of love. And, and I'm not through. I'm almost through. Y'all better help me here. Look, 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 look. Love rejoices with the truth. The word truth is the opposite of evil. Love always protects. There's nothing love won't face. I'm glad that when you got folk that love you, you ain't got to count them, you ain't got to call them. They'll be there. All you got to do is look, they'll be right there at the toilet. How many of you have had somebody that showed up and you went in trouble and you didn't ask him to come, but when you look, they were right there. Aren't you glad that the Lord is like that? He's a friend that sticks closer than any brother. He's a friend that will be with you always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah even to the end of the little word. Love, love always trusts. We resist the temptation to think the worst. We not only uh, hang out 
circumstances, uh, but sometime along the way, uh, aren't you glad somebody gave you another chance? Uh, you ought to give God some praise. Uh, love always hopes uh, things can get better uh, no matter how dark the night. Uh, there's something about the love of God. Uh, he might not show you right now, uh, but my Bible says, uh, crying might endure through the night, uh, but joy, God, God, <laughs> come in, in the morning. Uh, have I got a praying church? Uh, yes, beloved, beloved, have somebody to tell somebody uh, that the love of God. Uh, was God's uh, Valentine gift uh, to man. And let me explain. Uh, God gave the world his first Valentine gift uh, in the Garden of Eden. Uh, no, I'm not talking about when God put Adam to a deep sleep uh, to remove one of his ribs to create Eve. Uh, but I'm talking about when God uh, them out of the garden after they had sinned and after they had messed up. I want somebody out to be on their feet right now because somewhere in this life, someplace on this earth, we have all messed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we came to Jesus as we were. You 
see in that 13th chapter of this book, the church at Corinth, Paul showed them what love will do, what love seeks to avoid, what love will bear, what love has, and what love is. Come on, church. I heard a songwriter say, when I was seeking deep, y'all don't get me here, in sin, I was seeking far from the master soul, but I heard the songwriter say, love. Believer 
is open their eyes. Aren't you glad you opened your eyes? Oh, open his eyes. Then the, the, the man of God was able to minister to him. And when Paul left there, he came in <laughs> on Damascus, made a right on straight, but when he left, he was straight. Y'all didn't catch that. Praise God. <laughs> That's what his love will do, Brother Taylor. He won't let you be left the way he finds you. Because when he put his hands on you, yeah. you're going to change. Yeah. And you will not, come on, come on, get excited. You will not remain the same. Hello, I got some help in here. I know I got somebody that will go with me there. Praise God. Because God wants us to be an express image of his glory. He wants us to rise, shine, and give God the glory. He's worthy of the praise. Give the Lord a hand of praise. May you stand the invitation to Christ. Love makes the difference. You don't have to remain the way you are. You don't need to be in the shape you are in. Jesus has come that we can have life and have it more abundant. The choir sings. The invitation is being given. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come? Thank you.
it, say, Mama, we'll give you right hands until it's you. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.
hindrance and Lord manifest their breakthrough now in the name of Jesus right now we bind we bind every stronghold yeah, 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 yeah. we plead the blood we plead the blood against it be restored be renewed work it out and we believe it done now in Jesus name bless parents with their children oh God in the name of Jesus look upon our children right now touch their hearts speak to them Lord in the name of Jesus and let them know God that you love them too and obedience is better than sacrifice thank you Lord bless Saint Luke every officer, every member and bless me and first lady and our family and keep us in your care for it's in Jesus name come on give him a hand clap of praise for thanksgiving for it is done it is done hallelujah right in turn in your seats rejoicing knowing I've got the victory hallelujah
Start treating people right. Loving right. Hello. Doing right. You doing right. And everything else will be right. And right. Amen. Stop this blame game and holding folk hostage in their past. Hold your thumb up for a moment. Hold your hand up, everybody. Hold your hand up. Now, stretch your hand that way. Which finger's pointing back at you? I ain't got to ask you. You see it. Your thumb. That goes to show you. Hallelujah. There's some stuff still left. Hallelujah. And that's why we need God every day. Am I right? And that's what the word said. Love is the difference. May God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Mothers or deacons, are they any comments? Any comments? Yes, yes. This is what I want to say. Uh, I said, Mother Michelle. 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 Do you know uh, when you first came to the church, I looked at you and there was a spirit that was in you. I'm not a prophet, I'm not a claim to be. But I know the Lord told me one day, said that she's going to come and be a member of the church. He said that uh, I used to come to you all the time and say, I don't know if you remember, say, I'm not ready to come to join us. I used to say that to you every Sunday. The Lord told me, he said, look, you don't like to push it. He said, I got it. And he says, I'm going to lay it in the heart. And when I do, you're going to be just as glad and happy that she got. And right now today, my sister, I want to let you know, I love you. And I'm just as happy for you. And if there's anything that I can do, you just let me know. As, they can, as, 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 as the kids can say, I got you back. Okay? Anything. And I'm sure I'm speaking for the church also. If there's anything that we can do for you, just let us know. And we, we're, there, we're here for you. Thank you. And I'm glad to be one of my favorite members now. Mothers or trustees. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, I have something else. Uh, yes, Dean. Being in this Black History Month, uh, you did talk to me Friday. Right. And you said on the phone to Dick, do you have a song for me? Oh, yeah, I did. You I did, did, didn't you? I certainly did. But I do have a little reading on this particular, and I'm sure my kids don't know him. Okay. But I'm sure you know him. Okay. Uh, he was born December 5th, 1990. 1931. Okay. He was an American gospel single musician, composer known as the King of Gospel. You know who he might be? James Right. I don't even know what he's That's that's right. He's known as the King of Gospel, James Cleveland. Right. He was the, he was for us behind the creation of the modern gospel song by incorporating traditional black gospel, right. soul, pop, and jazz. Right. And arranged for mass, mass choirs throughout the, his career, Cleveland appeared on the hundreds of recordings and earned four Grammy Awards. He was the first gospel musician to earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He was inducted to the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in 1984, for his trailblazing accomplishment, he be, be regarded by many as one of the greatest gospel singers ever lived. Right. Right. His best song recorded includes "Lord, Help Me to Hold Out," yeah. "Peace Be Still," right. 
I don't feel no ways tired. Where is your faith? Yes, sir. The love of God, Amen. God has smiled on me. Yeah. And you were the best thing yeah. that ever happened yeah. to me. Yeah. To me. Yeah. And I, I'm going to try this one today. Lord, help me to hold out.
him, but for the rest of you, if you still want to give me a deal.